Okay, so this will be our next VLOOKUP example, uh, and we'll be doing something, again, that's pretty common, uh, and many times, uh, I guess, people don't do this the right way. Uh, I see people doing a lot of complicated if statements to achieve this, but we'll be using VLOOKUP to uh, achieve this task. So the task in our hand is gonna be this. We have these different types of products in this column, and what we want to do is reassign some different values. So uh, in cases when it's a running shoe or it's a training shoe, we want to call this one category. Let's say we're gonna call this, uh, you know, I don't know, popular shoes. And the rest like skate, skate, skateboarding, basketball, snicker boot uh, so those will be will be a different category so we'll put it in category two right so the first thing i'll have to do in order to get this done is get a unique list of different types of shoes we're selling out of here and the way i'm going to do it is well i'll be doing it on a separate tab so i'm going to make a new tab i'm going to call it new types new types Oops. there we are and here I want to get a unique list of values from this original tab that I have the way I'm going to do that is by using a function called unique so that's our function I open parentheses very easy to use and very useful function so unique so now I have to point to a range of values that I have so I'm gonna go to my original tab highlight all of these values right here and simply press enter so there it is my unique list of values that I've extracted from the other tab so now uh, uh, in column B, I'm going to assign the new names that I'm going to do for these different types. So for running shoe and training shoe, this is going to be uh, popular shoes, I guess. Same here, popular shoes. And for skateboarding, we'll say not so popular I guess shoes good enough so this is the same this is the same and this is not available it's not going to matter because we look up doesn't really match not available so these are the types we're going to have so we're going to reassign the types based on this table so if it's a running shoe or training shoe we'll call them popular shoes if it's one of these three it's gonna be not so popular shoes okay so now that I have this new table of unique values and their new assignment names I'm gonna go back to my merge data and call this new type And again, I'll copy formatting from here by using paint format right here. Resize this a little bit. I'm gonna start with my equal sign VL for VLOOKUP. So what I'm be searching for is this running shoe value, comma, and I'll be searching that in my new table that I've just created. So I'll go under new types and highlight my table over here. So again, F4, lock our VLOOKUP tables. Important part of what we do here, comma. And the column index, so it was the second column in our table. And finally, uh, is, the, is this sorted? So no, zero or false or exact match, what we call in Excel. So there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And we should see it goes to the other table, gets the names, popular shoes. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this down. So this works well. So as you can see, we've assigned running training shoes are not popular shoes. 
and the rest are not so popular shoes, with exception of this NA, where there was no type. So uh, let's assume we want to handle that NA, right? That's not looking that good. So maybe we'll also call it not so popular shoes, or how about we just call it other shoes, if it's NA. So to achieve this, I'll go to the first formula that I have, VLOOKUP, and I'm going to highlight the entire formula without the equal sign. I'm going to press Command X or Control X to cut it, depending if you're on Windows or Mac. So I'll start then with my if error function. So hopefully you remember this one from our video about VLOOKUP with it, our first video I believe it was. So that's if error. So the first value is going to be the function that could potentially return an error. So I'm going to simply paste our VLOOKUP function we had. So that's going to be our if error. So I'm doing some additional spaces here uh, just to make it more readable. You don't really need the spaces. So it's not necessary. But I like to do them just to make it easier for people to look in the formula and understand what's going on. So I'm going to do a comma and the second argument if my if error function is what to do when this function returns an error, which is going to be that NA case. So here I'm going to just type other shoes in quotes. And because this is text, it has to be in quotes from both sides, other shoes, close my parentheses, hit enter. And I should not see any difference here because it's a valid working VLOOKUP formula. But if I run this formula down, you'll see that NA case is now other shoes. So that's a nice trick to reassign values based on our new table from, uh, you know, our existing table, we've created a unique list with our unique function. And then we assigned some values. And then we did a VLOOKUP to assign our new types. So uh, if you're not going to keep these formulas, probably after this, what you're going to do is simply just copy and paste these using as paste special, paste values only, which is going to remove our formulas and just leave, you know, the values from those formulas. So if I go ahead and paste this option, if I look here, it seems like we just typed it in. Okay, so that's our next trick for VillaCup. We'll see you in our next video.